Good Monday afternoon, A Beta of Illinois. It's your state legislative coordinator, Josh Witkowski. Uh, it has been a busy, busy Monday. I actually took today off of work, and uh, yeah, probably shouldn't do that again. Um, started out this morning with news coming out from NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, regarding Tesla and autonomous vehicles of theirs that keep crashing into first responders. So if you were following the page earlier today, you saw that we put out a statement, uh, Beta of Illinois put out a statement on that, shortly followed by the Motorcycle Riders Foundation putting out a statement. Uh, Rocky and I have been talking off and on all day about that. Uh, but the bigger news, the reason why a lot of you are probably tuning in, uh, got a interview request from WQAD out of the Quad Cities who informed me that the governor was signing House Bill 656 today. Um, House Bill 656 is the bill that states a motorcycle passenger must be able to touch a footrest. Uh, solely foot, one footrest, doesn't have to be both. If you remember, this was the bill that we were originally looking at a ban on children on motorcycles. Uh, we avoided that by saying, hey, why don't we just say they have to be able to touch a footrest? There's nothing in there that says that you can't modify the footrest to accommodate a shorter rider. Um, this is something that a lot of people thought was already law. So we figured, why not just solidify it? Um, Sheriff's Association was good with it. This came from Livingston County Sheriff's Department originally through Representative Tom Bennett, um, but it has passed. But in the course of doing the interview with WQAD, um, of which that interview is going to air at 6 o'clock tonight uh, on WQAD out of the Quad Cities, I cannot thank the members of Blackhawk Abate who hurried together to put together a little bit of footage for her regarding motorcycle passenger safety. Um, Tim Wassell, the legislative coordinator out there, Robert Rudell, the public relations coordinator, thank you guys for very short notice handling that. But in the course of doing this interview, I asked her, hey, the email that told you the governor was signing this bill, can you see if Senate Bill 58 is on there? And lo and behold, it was. So as of today, the governor will have signed both House Bill 656 and Senate Bill 58. Now, what was Senate Bill 58? That is none other than the bill that reduces trailer plate fees from $118 down to $36. Um, this is something that Abate of Illinois has been sounding the alarm on for almost two solid years now. Uh, it was November of 2019 when we first raised the issue. So it is done. Uh, effective January 1, 2022, you will be able to get a TA classification plate for $36 annually uh, instead of the ridiculous $118 that was put out there. Now, the one thing I will say about this, this happened because of you out there that are watching this. If you are a member of a Beta of Illinois, if you responded to the videos that I was putting out over Memorial Day weekend, where we were asking for witness slips in a hurry, where we were asking you to contact your elected officials. This happened because of you. And if you're watching this video and you're not a member of Abate of Illinois or you're a member of some other group and uh, you're wondering why these trailer plates went down, um, that's, that's what we do. Uh, you know, this was horribly affecting motorcyclists and off-road riders here in Illinois. We raised the issue, uh, fought very hard for this along with uh, countless legislators that wanted this to happen. It was just a matter of getting it broke through leadership. But more importantly, it was members out there like you who are watching this who are engaged. I cannot thank you enough. With this action, all four pieces of legislation that Abate of Illinois were watching or were active on for this season, uh, including House Bill 96, Senate Bill 1231, House Bill 656, and then Senate Bill 58, all have passed the House, and they have all been signed into law by the governor of the state of Illinois. So congratulations to everybody out there who helped make this happen. Uh, we'll be with you on Wednesday for This Week in Abate. Be watching for emails to come out shortly regarding all of this stuff, hopefully tomorrow morning. Uh, until then, everybody have themselves a wonderful day.